Yo, and what is going on YouTube, and welcome back for another FIFA 17 player view where we take an in-depth look at the 87 rated man of the match, William. Now guys, if you have been enjoying the reviews, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And also guys, if there's any players you'd like to see on the channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. But guys, let's jump on into his overall record for me. Now I picked this card up this morning for 250,000 coins on the Xbox. William played six games for me, scoring five goals with two assists. Now I applied that dead eye chem style to him just to give him a boost in his shooting and passing. But guys, let's take a look at his in-game stats. He's got 88 positioning, 94 acceleration, 91 agility, 87 sprint speed, 95 balance, 99 stamina, 88 curve, 80. 5 finishing, 90 long shots, he has the dribbler engine, acrobat specialities, as well as flare and long shot taker traits, he has those high high work rates of 4 star skills and a 4 star weak foot. Now guys, the first pro we have today for this man of the match William is going to be his pace, and he is an absolute little hummingbird this William card, he is all over the field. Uh, now I used him both as a striker and a right forward and I've got to say he does far far more work for you at the right forward position with his pace. He has the acceleration and sprint speed so if you're able to hold off a defender with your striker and get that ball in behind, William is going to be able to chase those balls down and get a shot off or cross the ball back in for a header. Now the other would be his agility. He's very very evasive guys. He gets a very quick jump on defenders and the way he comes out of skills it's very easy to get a quick shot off or a pass. Now this leads me to my second pro for him and it's going to be his finishing. Now he has 85 finishing guys but don't let that fool you. He knows how to find the back of the net. He has some really, really nice curve on the ball, so he's able to bend it around the keeper. He has some really nice long shots, so he can hit the ball from distance. But where he lacks is the shot power. They all seemed a little bit weak to me. Now, I felt I had to get up closer to the goal to really dial in those shots and make the most of his abilities. Now... Guys, our third pro for this William card is going to be his dribbling. Now, he has the four-star skills and the ball control. He's very, very smooth with running with the ball, able to skip in and out of defenders. He never really had a problem falling to ground for me, but I got to say his first touch when receiving the ball did feel a little bit heavy. He... He would give up the ball every once in a while, and that's just one thing to keep in mind. But really, when dribbling in and around defenders, he's very, very good. Uh, one last thing I want to touch on with Willian was his passing, and this is a reason why I felt he was way more effective as a right forward, because he has amazing passing. He can put it right on the mark, and his crossing also felt very, very good. He's able to find the striker every single time, right on the head, and and guys, with how evasive and a quick this William card is, he can easily pull defenders out of position and get a pass off to get your other attackers in on goal. Now my last pro for William is going to be his links. Being Brazilian, he links up to a lot of fun players in the game, uh, specifically the likes of Neymar, Casemiro, and Jonas, but also players like Zlatan, Hazard, and the player of the year Conte. Now I had a lot of fun using this William card, uh, but really he only came with a couple of cons for me. And the first would be his work rates. Uh, for me, usually high high work rates aren't too much of a burden, but with this William card, it really seemed to pull him uh, really deep into midfield and as a striker that was a bit annoying so I moved him to the winger and it wasn't as noticeable. The second would be his physical. He is very very weak guys. In hindsight I maybe would have used a different chem style just to give him a boost in his physical stats. Um, but we can do that for another time. Now since he costs around 260k on Xbox at this moment in time, do I think he's worth the coins? Honestly, guys, the Premier League has some very, very good wingers with the likes of second and four Mane, uh, Shakiri, man of the match, Walcott. And this William just seemed a little bit of a letdown for me. So I think for the value, there are better uh, right forwards out there to use. Um, but maybe if you were to use him as a center midfielder, uh, he's very creative. He, he offers a lot of pace. So I think that would be an option. But for wing guys, I just think there's better options at this moment in time. But guys, that's going to bring us to a close on our review of the 87 rated man of the match, William. Now, if you have any players you'd like for me to review on the channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for stopping by. And if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button because what else are you going to do? Check you guys later.